Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install Revolver X2 from Back Industries on the 2016 and up Toyota Tacoma. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is remove our bulkhead bar. Uh, now, to do that, we're going to need to use a T30 Torx bit. I definitely recommend using a socket Torx bit uh, that you can attach to a ratchet. Um, and I also like using an impact driver as much as the next guy, but these are so easy to strip out. I definitely recommend to break them loose with the socket first. Um, and if you want to use your impact driver, use the impact driver after you've broken them loose. Now on the end of our bulkhead bar, we're gonna to need to apply our block seal. Uh, you're gonna notice you're gonna have some block seals in your kit. They're going to adhere right to the end of that bulkhead bar. You wanna wipe that down with alcohol first. We're gonna do this on both sides of the bulkhead bar. Now we're gonna put the head rail back in place on top of our bulkhead. We're gonna use the exact same hardware that we took it out with. Okay, now we've already wiped down the bulkhead with alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the bulkhead seal. It's going to go all the way on top of the block seal and, uh, and it's going to align up to uh, the inside of, that, uh, of, of the bed of the truck. And to this side, we're gonna cut it to fit right at the edge of the block seal. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the tie down cleats from our deck rail system. If this is your first Tacoma or if you've never done this before, basically all you do is you uh, unscrew that knob, you turn it 90 degrees and it pulls right out. Now we're going to take out our end caps from the front and from the back. And with a T30 Torx bit, we're going to remove the Torx bolts that hold the deck rail system to the side of the truck. We're going to set our deck rail to the side for later. Now we're going to grab the rail for the revolver cover. Um, that's going to set up against the bed cap like so. You're going to notice you got a seal uh, going along the inside of the rail. Uh, the Tacoma, because of where the bed cap uh, kind of moves into the bed of the truck, they actually have to mill off a portion of the rail in order for it to fit. Uh, so that you can cover up any kind of gaps, you want to make sure the alignment of your seal uh, works just like this, where it's here, uh, kind of in the corner of this extrusion, and then when the ex this extrusion ends, you want to make sure that the seal goes all the way out to the edge of your rail. Uh, if it's set inside, just kind of peel it up and set it back down where it's supposed to, to go. We're going to have four of these brackets that are actually going to slide into this track inside the rail. Uh, so we're going to slide those brackets in place. These brackets are going to need to line up with the holes that we just took the Torx bolts out of. Now we have the brackets loosely in place, we're going to go ahead and set the rail all the way up against the bulkhead where this uh, pad that's at the end of the uh, this slotted hole is pushed up against the bulkhead and sitting on the sides. Uh, in this position, we can go ahead and line up uh, these brackets to the holes. If you try to uh, set it in place and line these up, it, it's going to be a lot more difficult because they'll actually bind. So like this, when we're just kind of holding them up, up against there, it's still easy to line these up. Now with the brackets lined up, we can go ahead and move it up to the bed cap and then rock it underneath the bed cap. 
all these ledges on the bracket will go just underneath the lip of the plastic bed cap. Now we're gonna take our four supplied uh, long Torx bolts and put them into the brackets. Now, of course, if you've got a five foot bed, uh, you're gonna have four brackets, four Torx bolts. If you had a six foot bed, you're gonna have five brackets and five Torx bolts. You don't wanna tighten any of them down until you got them all threaded in place. Now we wanna make sure that we're pushing on the rail to keep it up against the bulkhead. And while we're doing that, we can go ahead and tighten these down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and replace our factory deck rail system. We're gonna line it up to the threaded holes in the bottom of these brackets, and we're gonna use the supplied short Torx bolts. And again, you wanna make sure that you thread them all in before you tighten down any of them. Now we've got them all uh, set in place, we're gonna tighten them all down. Again, I don't recommend using a, a uh, impact driver to do this and make sure you don't over tighten these because these are steel bolts and aluminum brackets and steel will beat aluminum. We can go ahead and replace our end caps and our tie down cleats and repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set the blanket of the cover down on top of the rails. Uh, these blocks right here should be to the inside of the rails on each side um, and uh, where this latch is and the end of the cover should be closest to the tailgate. And we're just going to roll it up to the cab of the truck. Now you're going to notice on the head rail portion of the cover uh, we've got two tracks that are running in here. What we're going to do is uh, take our hex head bolts that come in our kit we're going to put them right through the track. Uh, if you peel away or peel back uh, on that seal, you can slide that right into the track here and here. We're going to do this on both sides. And so as you fold this over, what you're going to want to do is make sure these bolts line up with this oval slot. Now we're going to be careful not to shift the cover around. We're going to start carefully rolling the cover up towards the bulkhead. When we get up to the bulkhead, we're going to want to push down on the cover to seat the bolts down into the uh, slotted rails. Now that we've got two bolts on each side uh, coming down through this channel, what we're going to do is we're going to take a rubber washer with a flat washer, throw them over top of the bolt, and then take our supplied nylock nut and thread that in place. We're not going to tighten it down at this point. We'll do that on both sides. Now we want to carefully line up the cover before we tighten it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll it down to the tailgate. We're going to latch it in place, make sure it's set side to side, and then the end of the cover we want to line up with the end of the rail. Okay, now you can do this one of two ways. You can either roll the cover up to the front, but you got to be really careful not to let the cover shift around while you're rolling it, or you can just climb into the bed of the truck and go ahead and tighten down those four half inch nuts. Now we need to install our strap assembly. So what we're going to do is pull away our rubber band, take off the front end cap closest to the bulkhead, do this on both sides, slide our clamp assembly, or our strap assembly, right into the deck rail system. And we're just going to keep it a couple inches away from our front tie down cleat. We're going to tighten that down with a half inch. We want the strap to come out the top. Now to adjust the strap, we're going to go ahead and pull a lock out of the way and pull some strap material out of the bottom. Bring this up to the clip and clip it in place. And that's how we latch it in place. So now we're going to go ahead and install our rubber bumpers on the cover to protect the cab. Uh, now if the cover is rolled up properly, it's never going to hit the cab. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the cover back a little bit and let it advance just a touch uh, so that it could hit the cab. Now what we're going to do is locate the two slats that are uh, in danger of hitting the cab if it's not rolled up properly. 
and we're going to pull away our 3M tape protector. Put the rubber bumper on those two slats. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.